Hey guys, um, thanks for tuning in to our YouTube videos, um, Escape Review UK. So we're going to be reviewing a lot of escape rooms for you guys and also some escape experiences um, that don't necessarily fall into that category. Um, so just to get you familiar with us, my name's Dex. I'm Dan. And we do escape rooms as a two usually. Um, so everything that we review will just be a two player um, kind of viewpoint and everything that we do review will be our personal opinion so we're not kind of sponsored by any escape rooms to give great reviews um, and we're definitely not afraid of giving really bad ones. <laughs> I think we've actually got a few bad ones coming up, especially one we just did in Germany. Mm, never again. Terrible. So just one thing I will need to let you know about. Um, is that some of the videos may contain spoilers. So we're not going to give any puzzles away or how to solve the games, um, but there will be a little bit of a spoiler. Um, we'll give you this notification. So when you get to that screen, it's your call if you want to stick around and listen to the rest of it. But we do advise you to check out the escape room itself and experience it before reading about it. Okay, so the first escape room that we're going to review is probably at the top of our list. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah, one of our most highly rated. Um, so it is this. So the escape room is called Amsterdam Catacombs, um, it's Biologic Locks, they have two escape rooms in Amsterdam, um, we've done them both, yep. um, and Amsterdam Catacombs is probably the best escape room that we've done so far, would you say? Oh, definitely, yeah. So it cost us £120, um, this was in March, um, peak time, so it was about 9 o'clock that we did the escape room, um, and it lasts for 1.5 hours in total. Um, it's a two to six player game. We always play games as two, as we've said. Um, and it's definitely something that you need to go and experience for yourself. So let's talk about the theme, I guess, of the escape room. Um, so it's set quite literally underneath a church. Um, the theme is is horror. Um, yeah, we tend to go for that. Yeah, we, we yeah. play the horror ones. And it, your role is to investigate this supernatural occurrence happening within the church. Um, that's sort of the, the underlying basis of it. Yeah. Okay. So, getting from booking, um, so we turn up um, and the game starts before you even arrive at the, the venue, I guess, yeah. um, which is quite fun. Um, there's only a handful of companies, and I think it was probably logic clocks that we first discovered it that you kind of start playing the game before you get there yeah um there was another one i can't remember what who that was well the other one was them as well oh it was them as well yeah of course it was yeah, yeah. that was that was interesting we'll talk about that <coughs> excuse me so you turn up um and you ring the doorbell or the buzzer to get in um and then you're greeted by some creepy people so you have to do it at a specific time as well, um, like dead on, um, dead on the hour. Yeah, um, you can't arrive late to this escape room and the people are a bit creepy, let's just say that, <laughs> yeah. Um, so we did actually get told off, um, because we weren't being serious enough, um, and it is quite a serious escape room I guess. Um, so once you've kind of dropped your stuff off you can put your things away. Um, and you get given a little bit of a brief as to what you're there to do, although you do have that beforehand. So before you even arrive, you've got what you're there to do, um, which is great. Um, the escape room isn't just a box room. Um, so there is a lot of things to it. There's a lot of rooms to it. Um, and it's very, very well themed. Um, we didn't really know what to expect for this escape room. I mean, we just came across it online. Yeah, yeah. and this is like the highest paid one we done as well um, and the first one with actors within it so this was very different to what we've done before yeah it kind of I guess it kind of set the standard for the escape rooms really because once you did this nothing's kind of matched it yet um, so 
let's talk about the the escape room then. So the theming is very well done. Um, the games are all kind of, I guess the games are linear in the fact that you do have to solve one puzzle before you can move on to the next. You can't just randomly go and solve fifty puzzles. Yeah. Um, which is which is great. Um, you do have a character, so you have a game host, but they are actually playing the game with you, um, which is also quite fun. Um, in the sense that they're actually a character, so you, you kind of relate to them a little bit more, you get a bit of a backstory from them, um, and you do communicate via a radio. Um, a lot of escape rooms we've done have different methods of clues. Um, logic clocks are probably the best out of the two as well, um, with the other room being slightly different kind of clue given. Um, but this one is definitely a radio, um, and you can communicate with your host. So you go downstairs, and the game doesn't really start straight away. So that obviously gives away your first character that you meet, which is the, the curator. Professor. Uh, she professor. Was, she? Um, and she kind of ties the whole story together, which is, which is really nice. Who is also your game master and like person watching you throughout. So you kind of, you go in and you start asking a few questions about things and then all of a sudden they disappear, which is the start <laughs> of your game. Um, yeah, you can kind of, Get a, get a sense from people when you first meet them as to what, what's kind of coming up next. Um, and as soon as they mentioned to us that they were going to do something, we kind of knew they weren't going to be coming back. Yeah. Um, so that's when your game starts. So there's a, I believe there was a puzzle in that room to start off. I, I, yeah, I think there was a puzzle to get into the, the next room, um, which was quite quite interesting I don't think I'd ever seen it before um, so I'm not going to talk about that too much so you go into the second room um, which is when things start to get creepy um, that's an understatement creepy um, and you solve a few puzzles again they are linear so you do have to solve one puzzle before you can get to the next thing and then you go into your third room and then your fourth room and then your fifth room um, and there's, there's quite a lot of rooms to this puzzle, and it's very, it was very disorientating, I guess, to figure out kind of where you needed to go. Um, I also like the fact that with this game, you could go into one room and you need something from another room in order to solve a puzzle. I think you might have missed that a little bit because yeah, he I, abandoned me. <laughs> Someone had to. Um, so the, the escape room itself is scary. Um, that's probably an understatement because I was like... <laughs> petrified at one point um, and it is based around monsters so you can kind of guess what happens this escape room is good in the sense that you're not just solving puzzles you're actually trying to survive and yeah. hide um, so at points you do need to kind of stop what you're doing and go and hide and not get caught that is until you get put into a back room um, and one of your teammates abandons you now there's only two of us at this point anyway so he just disappears and leaves you on your own with a monster. That's not how it went down. <laughs> that is how it went down. Um, but you definitely need to go and experience it. Um, I would give this escape room and the ending of the escape room as well. I'd probably give it a five out of five. Yeah, usually with a lot of escape rooms, it sort of comes to an abrupt end. Um, and there's sort no sort of like satisfaction to the end. It's just, uh, yeah, you did it. Whereas this yeah. one does does wrap it up very nicely um, in a way that fits and and works well as well. In a way that was also quite terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely got got a good beginning, middle, and end, and it's definitely got a story flowing through it, which is which is really good. Um, they did, they've done a really good job with this escape room, and I think like with the technology involved in it as well. It's not just kind of locks and keys, it's actually a bit of tech in there, um, which makes it more interesting. Um, and also the fact that they kind of personalize it as well to a certain degree, um, which is a bit freaky at first, but any kind of- Very clever. Yeah, it's very, very clever. Um, also 
the location as well. You you are literally under a church. You are literally in some catacombs. It's not just um, some wooden walls that have been painted. Like it's it's literally stone walls underneath underground. Um, everything you see there is very real. Yeah, it feels very real. It feels yeah. very realistic, and and that kind of adds to the eeriness of the place. And the fact that it's dark as well. And also we did it at 9pm, so even going into the place it was dark. Like, it, yeah. it, it set the tone even before we arrived. Like, yeah, I think if you are going to book the room, definitely do it in the dark. Um, it doesn't necessarily add to the experience. Um, whilst you're inside the Game Boy, it definitely kind of sets the mood, as you say, yeah. um, beforehand. So I'd recommend any time that it's dark, um, definitely book your game for then. Cool. So that is that escape room then, I guess, um, wrapped up for us. Um, so out of five rating, I'd definitely give it a five. Yeah. Um, for the theming, um, I'd definitely also give that a five. I don't think they could do anything more with the theming, to be honest. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't think so, to be honest. <laughs> when you're kind of hiding and scared, they've, they've basically done their job. Um, puzzles, what would you give the puzzles? So, out of rating of five. Um, yeah, there was a few puzzles we'd not seen done before, like the personal touch on it as well, like you said, that, that was very clever. Yeah. Um, did you find the puzzles easy enough? Well, you did most of them, because <laughs> we got separated and I like, had less to do, I guess. It says we had less to do, but we actually did quite a lot of puzzles before we got to that point. Yeah, but I don't know yeah. what you were doing on your own in that room. I was backed into a corner, looking at the doorway, thinking something was going to come through it. And it was me. I turned around and the doorway that we'd unlocked had suddenly locked itself again and closed. And then it turned out that you had to go back through that way. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, no, I think the theming and the puzzles are really good. Um, there wasn't anything that super struggle with and they do help you occasionally they're not very um heavy on giving you clues which is good because we've done escape rooms before where they just radio you every five seconds and like oh have you looked at this or have you looked at that and you've only yeah, been yeah. in there for don't like, give you a chance to figure it out yourself yeah and you've only been in the room for like five minutes and you're like come on let me have a look around first before you start give me half an hour to struggle um, <laughs> um which is which is yeah something i guess that's more of a preference to the to the escape rooms that we've done but a lot of them do ask you. Um, the game hosts, how would you rate them? Oh, they, they were great. Like, yeah, they were really friend. Well, when they're out of character, they're really friendly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. When they're in character, they're <laughs> definitely not friendly. No, yeah. Um, but no, they, they do a great job. Um, I can't mm. remember... We were told... This, the success rate, success rate. So even though we said the puzzles weren't that difficult, um, I do think I do remember them saying a lot of people do fail. Um, oh right, yeah. Because I I was thinking about that actually while I was kind of we're going to do these videos. I was like, does it have a success rate because it's a story? Yeah. Like, can you fail? Um, they told us that the success rate isn't that high. So does so, that mean that there's another end into this? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. We'll have to get back to you on that one and find out if there's another end into the story. I doubt it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. I mean, it could end the same. Yeah. I'm not sure, actually. We'll have to find that out and let you know. Uh, we'll pull it in the comments um, once we've finished the, the videos. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that is um, at Amsterdam Catacombs. I almost forgot what we're reviewing there. Um, it's definitely one that we think you should check out. Um, you can go on their website, um and find out all the information that you do need. And if you want to ask us any questions, then feel free to drop us a message and we'll answer them in a video. Bye. See ya.